Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I have playlists with all the hacker ink and leak code solutions and we're doing leak code. Sword array by parity. Um, basically what we do is we're given an array of integers and we want to put all the even numbers at the front and odd numbers at the end. Um, pretty easy problem. It's like the easiest problem ever. So here's the brute force solution that I thought of right away and then I'll show you the optimal one after. So you just make a new array you just make a new array, you loop through this array, and then you do two loops. The first loop you put the even numbers in, the second loop you put the odd numbers in. I don't even know if I want to type it out, but whatever, I'll just type it out. Uh, you also need a counter to account for incrementing the new array values. Two loops. You do a check if A of I modulus 2 is equal to 0, that means it's even. We're going to put those ones in first with counter is equal to a of i. So we put the even numbers in first, and then we put the odd numbers in second. Odd numbers, remainder 2, is always 1. Um, and then you just have to make sure you increment the counter on both times. And then you can return the new array. And uh, this is a good solution for brute force, honestly. It's not even that bad. It's just that you have to use space. And the optimal solution doesn't use space. Uh, you don't return counter, sorry. You return the new array, like I said. So yeah, this just uses an extra array to put the new values in. There we go, it worked. All right, let's show you the optimal array. Hopefully you get that. You do a loop through, you only put the even numbers into the new array. You forget about the odd numbers, and then you do a loop through, and you forget about the even numbers, and you only put the odd numbers in the array. There you go. Easy. Super easy. Uh, let's do the optimal solution. Uh, this guy described it as a quick sort kind of thing. I don't really see it as that. You just have a two, it's more of a two pointer solution. You have a pointer at the beginning and you have a pointer at the end. It does do swapping, so that I could see where it's coming from with that. And then you just do while i is less than j, if a of i modulus 2. So if, it, if a of i modulus 2 is greater than a of j modulus 2. Well, that means that this is going to be, this would be 1, and then this would be 0, meaning an element at the beginning is odd, and an element at the end is even, if this condition occurs. And if that's the case, then we want to swap, because we want all the odd elements at the end and all the even elements at the beginning. So we just do a swap. I mean, hopefully you understand that. It's not that hard. Uh, temp is A of I. A of J is equal to A of I. No, A of I is equal to A of J, sorry. Um, and then a of j is equal to temp. There we go. That's the swap. Once again, because mod an element, an, a number modulus 2, if it's 0, then that means it's even. If it's 1, it's odd. So if it's 1 greater than 0, that means we found an odd, because the i is at the beginning. We have a beginning boundary and an end boundary, and we're moving towards each other. We're moving inwards, and when we see an odd number at the beginning and an even number at the end, we just want to swap because we want the evens at the beginning and the odds at the end. And how do we handle, we do the swaps here if we see that. And then how do we keep moving our boundaries? Well, we keep moving our boundaries if we know for a fact that A of I modulus 2 is equal to 0 because we know that this element at the very beginning index is for in fact even because we do this check. So that means the element at that is even, and we can just move our boundary forward because we're good. We're good on that even element. If it's at the beginning, we're good. We can just move it forward, check more elements, make sure those are even. Same thing at the end. If we see an odd, we're good, dude. We just can keep moving that boundary inward. Um, so just want to do a check, not A of I, A of J, um, percent of 2, because J is the ending uh, boundary. Then we just decrement J. That's it. This is a more optimal. Oh, and you have to return the array. It's in, in place, so you're just returning the same array. And this is it. This is the optimal one. You attempted to do a submit too soon, but that's fine. We'll just do a run thing, and then we'll submit again. But this is the optimal solution because um, you're not using space, and we're still doing It's the same runtime as the other one, not using space. So there you go. This one's better. Just remember two pointers, I guess. Uh, always keep those in the back of your mind. And thank you guys for watching. Please check out my other videos. And uh, yeah, thanks. I'll see you guys next time.